Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss back again with another video and today I'm going to show y'all what's on my bike. Now this is a special request video. Shout out to everybody that follows me on Instagram and on Snapchat. Lately I've been posting a lot of biking videos and I've been getting a lot of questions like what kind of bike do I have and do I use any bike tech? So that's what I'm going to show y'all now. Most of these products you could get from Amazon. I'll throw the links up in the description. As far as the bike itself, it's a Cannondale, and I'll show y'all that in a minute. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's get started. Shout out to White Shoes, back from vacation. First things first, bags. Now, what kind of bags do I use when I'm riding my bike? I'll show y'all two of my favorite bags. First, we got the KP Sling Bag, otherwise known as the Manny Pack 2.0. Now y'all seen this bag plenty of times on my channel. This is my utility bag. I take this to the beach. I take it when I'm going bike riding. I take it when I'm going to the gym. And I take it when I'm going to Six Flags. It's an all around bag. Now it's kind of like a fanny pack, but more of the manly version, as you can see by the camouflage colors. And it also has a shoulder strap. So this one you don't have to strictly wear around your waist and walk around looking like a tourist. You can rock this messenger bag style. Now this is water resistant. You got plenty of pockets, plenty of room for storage. Got a big front pocket on the front. So when you're riding your bike, if you don't feel like carrying your wallet, you can slap your phone right in here, your credit card, some money. And if you're picking up some little goodies from the store, drop them right in this bag. All right, so this is my daytime bag. Now I gotta show y'all my favorite biking bag. This is the track shell. Now, nine times out of 10, I ride a bike at night I'm a night rider. So let me show y'all my nighttime biking bag, the track shell. Now, shout out to everybody that watched my videos. You've seen this bag before. This is the best bag to use if you're riding a bike at night. Now it has a hard outer shell. Okay, two straps on the back. Kind of looks like that turtle shell. But let me show you why this bag is so dope. Let's open it up. Now, I actually haven't opened this since one of my last rides. So we could get a surprise in here. Let's see what's in here. All right, so let me show you what I keep inside of my biking bag. Now I roll out with the Huntsman, just in case I gotta go hunting in the middle of the night. I keep a waterproof foam pouch. Now I wear this around my neck. A lot of times I'll get to the park and I wanna do a little calisthenic workout. So I'll drop the phone in the waterproof pouch, keep it moving. Let's see, I got some workout gloves. Keep a little uh, battery charger on deck some wristbands, bunch of USB cables, and some spare batteries for my GoPro camera because I like to record when I'm riding. Now back to the bag. So you see now that this gives you an idea of how much stuff you could fit in the bag and I could put plenty of more, uh, plenty more products. Now in the inside pocket, this is where I usually keep my money. So I'll usually roll around with a dub, you know, a little cigarette lighter just in case I gotta <laughs> take a little break. And I got some chapstick and some change. But now check out the bag. On the inside of the bag, let me show you that. You see that right there? That is a portable battery. So now I can charge up my phone, I can charge up my tablet, I can charge up my speakers, my headphones, whatever I got while I'm on the road. But here's the best part. Let's hit the power button on this bag. Waiting for the connection. Look at the back. Connected. Now you got actual lights. Now it's pretty bright. Matter of fact, I'll dim the lights real quick so you can get an idea of how this looks. All right, so I dimmed the lights a little bit. Now check this out. You got a remote control. Let's activate the lights. Now the back of the bag is gonna cycle through different color lights. Now this is so hot for when you're riding at night. Remember, you wanna be seen. So you're gonna be wearing your backpack. The whole back is gonna be lighting up. Now that's not even the best part about this bag. Check this out. Let's hit play and pause. <laughs> This is the dopest biking bag ever. So you got a built-in portable battery charger on the inside. 
You got lights, you got a remote control, and you got a fully functional Bluetooth speaker. All right, so this is my biking bag. That's a go. Next. Now, I do ride around with a Bluetooth speaker. Now, I know what some of y'all are saying. Why do you need a Bluetooth speaker if you already got the Bluetooth book bag? I'm going to show you why when we get outside. Now, up until last week, I was using the Soul Wave Power. This one fits right into your water bottle holder, 360 degrees sound, and it's nice and loud. But I'm giving this one away to my brother because I just got a newer version. We got the Track Active. All right, so let's pop this open and see how this one looks. Let me grab a little unboxing knife. Got the Hawk today. Rah. Now this one's gonna run you a buck 20, so about the same price as the Wave Power, maybe a couple of dollars more, but this one does come in a few more colors. Now the main difference between this and the Wave Power is battery life. This one you're getting 30 hours of battery life, with the Wave Power you're getting 12. Let's see, uh, hi-fi sound, extra loud volume, 6,000 milliamp battery. So the battery on this is gigantic. You got a free remote control. This one also has FM radio. All right, the wave power doesn't. So this is definitely an upgrade. You got a power bake function and it's waterproof. All right, so let's check this out. This is the track active. Now the last one was the track shell, so now we got the track active. Woo, check this out. Now we got the camouflage version. Now, of course, there is some glaring similarities between this and the wave power but this one has more tactile style buttons on the top this one has a carabiner hook fm radio let's see both of them have usb charge outs let me grab it let's open this up okay so this is usb led and micro usb charging slot Let's see on this one. Uh, see, now this is a major upgrade. Now the Wave Power, this is overpriced. I do not buy this one. This one is gonna run you 100 bucks. Now at the time when I got this, this was the top dog and bike speakers. But check this out. Let's open that little slot one more time. Look at the difference. Now you got USB out. So this is actually a power bank. This one you just have auxiliary in. All right, so shout out to my brother. You just got a new Wave Power. I'm going to roll with the upgraded version. Let's all pair this up and do a little sound test and see how it sounds. All right, so let's see what else you get inside the box before we take it to the music. Now, this is not going to be a full review. We're just going to skim through this. Got your usual books and shit. Pluck them, follow them to the side. Now, you got a bike mount. Now, if your bike already has a water bottle mount, trust me, this fits right in there. But if you don't, it comes with another mount. Let's see, uh, get a strap, some rubber. <laughs> now you get a remote control. Now y'all remember the Wave Power, had all this stuff too. Bunch of cables, so you got a micro USB charging cable and a 3.5 auxiliary input. Let's see, is this a carrying case? I like this too, okay, this is nice. Yeah, this one is totally worth the price compared to the Wave Power. Look how much stuff you get. Get a little rubber, a little rubber housing case. This is gonna be your Let's open this real quick. Now, check this out. You could ro rock this around your wrist, run the wire down the side of your bike, plug this in, and you can use this as a remote control. All right, so just in case you, wanna, you don't wanna keep reaching down, you got a little strap right here too. Now you could drop this on this carabiner if you want, on that little hook, do what you do. Now let's take it to some music real quick and see how this sounds. That might be the only difference between this and the wave power. All right, here we go, max volume. Now this is 360 degrees sound.
All right, so I got to keep it real with y'all. The sound on this is incredible. Now, if you want to compare this to the Wave Power, both of these are about the same price. This one might be about $10 more, but you're better off getting the track active. It comes in more colors. You got 30 hours battery life as opposed to 12, and this one has a built-in power bank. Now, just in case you're wondering why do I have two Bluetooth speakers, real simple. When I'm using the book bag uh, speaker, a lot of times you get notifications, and when you're listening to your music, you don't want your notifications to cut off your song. So I have this speaker set up with a different phone, and I use this one as a speaker phone and for notifications, and I use the backpack speaker strictly for music. All right, so let's keep it moving. All right, so let's take a look at some LED lights. First, we got these multifunctional, multicolored, USB-powered LED lights. Now these are gonna run you about 20 bucks. The best part about these, no batteries necessary. You charge these up using a micro USB charging cable. Now these have a little clip right here. We can pull these off. This is gonna be your bike mount. So you can put this on the front or the back of your bike. Now check this out. Hit the button once. You got flashing red. So this is gonna work perfect as a brake light on the back of your bike, or you can attach this to your helmet or your book bag or your jacket. Hit the button again. Now you got bright white. Now this works perfect for the front of your bike as a flashlight. Now when you're riding down those dark trails, trust me when I tell you, this is gonna light them up. That's why I use two of these because I want maximum light. Hit the button again. Now you got solid red. Hit the button one more time and you got flashing white. Now I use these on the bike trails too. Now let me show you how I rock. I'll take it outside in a minute. I usually rock them like this. So both of these on the front of my bike, one flashing red, one flashing uh, white. Gives it that police look. 20 bucks on these. Now I got a few new ones that I'm ready to try out. So let's take a look at these. Now I just ordered these. I don't even remember how much I paid. This might've been about 10 bucks. These are Goofy, that's the name, I didn't make that up, Goofy, USB rechargeable bike tail light. Now the other night when I was riding, I had the red and white flashing lights. All I was missing was blue for the full dramatic effect, so I ordered some, so let's see how these look. Let's grab a little unboxing knife, why not? Here we go, say it with me, y'all. Rah! Let's check these out. I ordered these in the middle of the night, so I don't even know what they are, I don't remember. But it is what it is. Let's figure these out real quick. Okay, you got a power button on the top. Okay, this is cool. Now you got a red light. Flashing red light. Oh, blue. All right, here we go. Now this is why, oh, this is nice. Now check this out. All right, so I'm gonna have flashing red, flashing white, and the blue. So when I'm coming through in the middle of the night, officer floor is on deck. Oh, and you got a flashing blue. All right, we'll take this outside and we'll set it up on a bike and see how it looks. Ooh, this is nice. Oh, check this out. Red and blue. I should have got two of these. All right, it is what it is. Let's see. You got a little mount for these two? Yeah, we get ready to have fun. Now, I know what y'all saying. Yo, he riding around with the Pee Wee Herman bike with all those gadgets. But it is what it is. My thing is, if you're going to do something, do it big. All right? Let's do it big. Now, I got these two, so let's check these ones out. See which one is better. This looks about the same. Now, these are all USB-powered LED lights. Am I going to have all of these on my bike at the same time? I doubt it. But then again, you never know. All right, this is USB-powered. All right, this one might be dead. All right, so let me plug this one in real quick. Let's just, let this charge up for a second. All right, so I just plugged this one into a portable power bank. So let's check this one out. Oh, check this out. Now this got the red, white, and blue all together. All right, that's solid white. Oh, look at that flashes. Oh, this is dope. Now this one might've been about 10 bucks, but it's super bright. So you got red, white, and blue. Let's let that charge up. We're gonna have to rock that tonight. Let's keep it moving. Now I got one more LED light. I know, I'm just being extra now, but I'm dying to see how this looks. This is a remote control bicycle turn light. Now, am I really gonna use this? I doubt it, but um, looks cool when I was ordering it. So let's see. All right. Now this comes with a few zip ties. Let's see. All right, <laughs> now this already looks like a lot of work. I don't know about this one. All right, matter of fact, 
Let me pause. Let's see. Let's turn this on. Let's see, dude. We got any juice. Okay, here we go. Now this has, oh, look at this. All right, so this is left turn and right turn. Right, let's, let's see. Um, all right, it looks like battery, battery low indicator. All right, let me play with this for a second. All right, so I was playing around with this for a minute, and it's kind of cool. Check this out. Now, it comes with a battery that you're going to have to install in this end. But hit the turn signal. There's your right arrow. Hit the turn signal again. There's your left arrow. Right, left, just like in a car. So now this is kind of cool if you're riding in traffic in the middle of the night, you gotta make that left, there you go, make that right. Now I did have some other stuff, let me see if I can figure that out again. I had some other stuff, I was pressing some buttons, it had some, some other designs, let's see, oh there it goes. All right, so if you tap the button, you got some different designs. All right, if you leave it on this screen, no, let's let's see. Um, how did I do that? Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I know, there it goes. All right, so you got some different stuff. Now you can just ride out with different patterns. But why this show is going on? Look, you see different, little different uh, LED screens. Why all the stuff is happening? If you got to make a turn. It's automatically going to kill that screen and take it to the arrows. All right, so this is kind of cool right here. Let's keep it moving. All right, next, we got a cell phone mount. Now, I already got one of these on my bike, but I ordered another one because this one looks a little bit better because it glows in the dark. But same concept. I'll show you how it looks. Rah! Usual books and shit. Pluck them and file them. This just goes right around your handlebar. Yeah, this is super bright. Let's, matter of fact, let's, I'll activate that in a second. Goes right around your handlebars like this. Let's grab a phone. Do I got a phone on deck? Oh yeah, I got a classic phone today. HTC <laughs> Evo 3D, shout out to the Evo 3D. So this suggests you put one strap on each corner of the phone and it's gonna look like this. <laughs> gonna look better than this. But it's, it's, it's weird doing this without be, without it being on the phone. But it's supposed to look like this. So it's going to be on your handlebars. It's going to look like this. Now, like I said, I got one on my bike already that might be a little bit better because it has the actual clamps. But this one looks nice because it glows in the dark. Right, Zerks? Right on time. Fall back. All right, so let's see, let's see if this actually does glow in the dark. Chill, Zerks. <laughs> Chill, bro. All right, here, play with that. Let's see if this actually does glow in the dark. Let's, um, I'm gonna put it up in the light. Here, matter of fact, let me pause the video. I'll let this charge up in the light and we'll see if it glows. All right, so check this out. I don't know if y'all can see this or not, but it is glowing in the dark. Gotta leave it under the light a little bit longer to let it fully charge up, but it does work. Let's keep it moving. All right, now check this out. Now you know how most bike riders, on the front of their bike, there's a little bell or a little bike horn. That's a courtesy for when they're riding, they don't want to sneak up on people. Well, I took it to the next level and I got the world's loudest bike horn. All right, now this is the air sound. This is extra loud and extra light. Now I already got this installed on my bike. I'll show you how it looks. You just mount it right on the pole. You're gonna have to pump this up, so you're gonna need a pump, 80 PSI, and this is crazy loud. I'm gonna let y'all hear it for yourself. This is major trolling right here. Let's keep it moving. Next. Now, a lot of people ask me, do I ride with a bike helmet on? And the answer is yes. Really for one reason, the GoPro head mount. Now, I like to record my videos when I'm riding, and I've been using the GoPro strap head mount, and that thing is no good for long distance riding. It's too tight, and it holds all your sweating. So I found the perfect helmet. Now, this is from a company called Koros. This is the most tech heavy helmet that I've seen yet. Now, if you notice the GoPro mount, it sits right on the top. And this is actually a bonus because it keeps it a little bit more stable. Now, of course, you're getting more safety by wearing a helmet, but check this out. If you notice on the back of the helmet, there's a power button. So let's hold that down. Listen to this. Pairing. You heard it say pairing? Connected. 
connect it. This helmet has bone conducting technology built into it. So if you see these little rubber stops right here on the sides, these act as bone conducting speakers. Now I'm gonna be honest with y'all, they're not the loudest in the world. I'll give you a little demo real quick. Let me grab a phone. All right, check this out. Let's get max volume on this. Now I'm gonna put these a little bit closer to the mic. Now here's the thing, let me pause this. Here's the thing, this is bone conduction technology. These are not speakers. So it sounds low right now, but you gotta remember when you're wearing the helmet, these are gonna be pressed up right against your ears. It's gonna sound like the music is right in your head. Now, I'm gonna be honest, it's not the loudest in the world, so I don't really use it for the music, but I use this for speakerphone. Now that's one of the best features about any bone conducting headphones. When you're talking on the phone, it's gonna sound like the person is talking right into your head. Now let me show you one more thing with these. Check this out. The helmet comes with a remote control. So now you can strap this right around your wrist and when you're riding your bike, you got play and pause, volume up and down, skip and reverse tracks, and answer and end phone calls. Right from one button. Check this out. So you hear the music playing. Let's get some volume. That's maximum volume. Play and pause. Skip to the next track. And if I got a phone call, I just hit the phone button and answer and end phone calls. This is dope. Let's keep it moving. All right, two more things I want to show you. Then we'll take it outside and see how everything looks set up on the bike. Next, I got a bike pump. All right, now this is by Schwinn. This is perfect for pumping up your air horn. Now, if you try to use a hand pump and pump this air horn up, it's gonna be damn near impossible to get it to 80 PSI. If you use a big pump like this, literally three pumps and it's gonna be at 80. All right, so this is worth every penny. Now the last thing I got is my two bones bike mount. Now I'm gonna have to take this outside and set it up. But basically what this is, you can see from the picture, it's a bike mount that goes in the back of your car. So this way when you wanna go on those long distance rides, Put your bike on the back of your car and keep it moving. Now this is cool because a lot of times you get tired of riding in your neighborhood and you don't wanna to ride too far that you can't make it back home. So now if you wanna ride in a different area, say I live in Manhattan and I wanna ride in Queens or I live in Queens and I wanna ride in Brooklyn, drop your bikes right on the back of this rack and keep it moving. Now I'll set this up and let y'all see how it looks. All right, so let's take it outside and see the finished product. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, so here's how the bike mount looks set up on the car. This is a two bike mount. Simple installation. All right, so let's check out the bike. Got the Cannondale on deck. Now here's your track speaker, set up as a speakerphone, fits perfectly in the water bottle holder. In the other water bottle holder, I got the compressor for the air horn. On the back, here's your red, white, and blue flashing lights, super bright. And I got a flashing red light for the tail light. Extra comfortable seat, carbon fiber trim. Here's the bike helmet, GoPro camera mounted up, ready to go. Now here's your courtesy bell. And I got the air horn on deck. Now it gets way louder than that, I just tapped it real soft. Now here's a little pouch. I keep an extra phone in here. Galaxy S8 Plus. And I keep a couple of dollars on deck. Now here's your phone mount. And on the front, here's the red, white, and blue flashes. Extra bright, everybody's gonna see you coming through. Now I'm actually wearing the backpack, so I got the music queued up. So let's go for a little ride. All 
All right, so this is most of the stuff that I got on my bike. I got a few more things that I want to show you once we get outside, and then we'll go on a little cruise. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about these. Shout out to everybody that rock with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah. Special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter. That's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I'll see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock, one to beam up. Energize. Thank <laughs> you.